Hello and welcome to China. Today we'll be exploring one of the most famous tourist attractions in China, the Great Wall. The Great Wall, also known as the longest wall in the world, is a series of fortifications built along the northern borders of China to protect the country from invading armies. It stretches over 13,000 miles and is a testament to China's long and rich history. As we begin our journey, let's start with a story. Once upon a time, there was a young emperor in China who was worried about the safety of his people. He heard that a neighboring country was planning to invade his empire. He knew he had to do something to protect his people. So, he called his advisors and asked them for a solution. One of his advisors suggested building a wall to keep the enemy out. The emperor loved the idea and immediately ordered the construction of the Great Wall. Thousands of workers labored for years, and the wall grew and grew until it spanned over 13,000 miles. Now, this wall wasn't just any ordinary wall. It was a massive fortification with watchtowers, ramparts, and even barracks for soldiers. It was built to withstand attacks from invaders, and it did its job incredibly well. In fact, the Great Wall successfully defended China from countless invasions throughout history. But here's the interesting thing. While the Great Wall was built to keep enemies out, it also played a role in keeping China together. You see, China is a huge country with diverse cultures and languages, and it can be challenging to unite everyone under one ruler. However, the Great Wall became a symbol of China's strength and unity. It brought people together in a common goal, and even today, it is a symbol of Chinese nationalism. So, when you visit the Great Wall, remember that you're not just visiting a magnificent wall. You're visiting a testament to human resilience and determination, a symbol of China's history and identity, and an incredible engineering feat that has stood the test of time. Now let's talk about the different sections of the Great Wall that you can visit. The most popular section for visitors is the Beidling Great Wall, which is the most well-preserved section of the wall and is easily accessible from Beijing. It offers stunning views of the surrounding mountains and countryside. Another popular section is Moody Anu Great Wall, which is known for its beautiful scenery and unique architectural features, such as the watchtowers and crenellations. If you're up for a more challenging hike, we recommend visiting Jiangku Great Wall, which is a more rugged and unrestored section of the wall with steep inclines and breathtaking views. No matter which section of the Great Wall you choose to visit, make sure to wear comfortable shoes and bring plenty of water and sunscreen. And that's a wrap on our tour of the Great Wall. We hope you enjoyed learning about this incredible piece of history and experiencing its awe-inspiring beauty. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.